Um, Chairman Zerwas, you or Representative da uh, Chairwoman Davis could answer these questions. I want you to know, first off, thank you to you and the conference committees. I know you worked really hard, and I, I intend to vote for SB1. I just have some questions for legislative intent, if you don't mind. Absolutely, and thank you for all the contribution you made, especially on Article 3. Thank I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, so as part of the bill pattern for Article 2, there are performance measure targets, correct? There are. And as part of this, there are, um, in each goal, there, in Article 2, there's corresponding target performance levels to, to, to so to each appropriation, there are, cur there are target performance levels, correct? That's correct. And so can you explain, or maybe the agency can explain a little bit how target performance measures work? Well, I think they're, they're, they're going to be dependent, obviously, and unique to each one that is out there. Sometimes it's the number of clients that are served uh, out there and things of that nature, but there's an intent that, you know, based on the amount of the appropriation that they will hit certain targets, and again, defined by each of them, there, I would not say that there's any one sort of, you know, performance target that applies across all the di different strategies. Exactly. So for each one, there's a certain goal. So acknowledging that the targets are simply measurements of performance and they may not be exact, it is it safe to say that if, there, that if there are target measurements listed, that there is some level of expectation that the agency, in this case HHS, HHSC, will try to meet those goals? That's correct. And so, um, and I see in the, in the conference committee report that a target output performance measure, um, so, so let me go back. On page 245, under goal F, specifically goal F 1.2 strategy, non-Medicaid services, a target output performance measure of 5,482 individuals per month in 2018 and 2019 at a cost of $67.85 per individual for the in-home and family support program category. Is it safe to say, because that's the performance measurement, that we, it is safe to say, for assume that the expectation exists for the agency um, and the funds that will be used from the corresponding appropriated item on the, on the budget uh, under goal F1.2 to strive to meet the performance measure. I think that would be the, the <laughs> expectation. Very well said. I must say I don't have it right here in front of me, and uh, certainly I would defer to Chair Davis if I she mean, would like to speak to that. In basic layman's that, terms, I gave the details, but in layman's terms, what we're saying is that if there's a performance measurement attached to a specific area in the appropriations, we expect for HHSC to try to meet that performance measure. Uh, absolutely. I think that's true throughout the whole bill. Exactly. And I, I, and I think we gave a detailed example because that's the one I'm specifically concerned about. And so I want to highlight that um, as part of a, con uh, not concern, but just as making sure the agency knows that that would be an expectation, at least from me, that we work on that specific area to meet those target measurement performances. Yes, and then the last question, and I go, since that holds true and there is not a separate line item, because previously there was for this specific area in, um, in the appropriation of of goal F for the corresponding, so because there's not a specific line item like previously, there's still the same level of expectation for performance, yes? Correct. Okay, um, thank you so much. Thank you to all the hard work of the committee. And